The purpose of this video today is to help you set up your paper using MLA format on an iPad and in Pages. And you guys are probably pretty familiar with Pages because you've used the laptops in the past and you used Pages to type your papers. And it's very, very similar on an iPad. It just looks a little different. The buttons are a little bit more squished together. So here I am on my home screen on my iPad. Now my Pages happens to be right here. I'll just show that again. It's orange and it has a little white pencil. You might have it, let's see if I kind of get them uh, wiggling. You might have yours down here. You might have it up, up here. You might have it on another screen um, or in a folder. You might have it in um, a folder with other apps. Mine I just keep right here on, on the home screen. So I'm gonna open pages and I'm going to create a new document. It's usually up here at the top with a plus. I have a lot of recipes <laughs> saved right now. It's going to bring you to this screen that says choose a template and they offer you a lot of templates, resumes, flyers and posters, newsletters. So if you're doing projects, maybe making a newsletter for your, for your class, you have all kinds of card options. I mean, there's so many, there are so many options here, but for the purpose of writing an essay, Maybe you're writing a lab report. Maybe you're writing an essay for AP. Maybe you're writing an essay for composition, for pre-AP English or AP English. Just choose blank right here. Just choose blank document. And you'll see that it looks like on the computer where you can see your page. So here's your, here's your paper. Now, if I click off of the paper over here to the side, you'll notice the cursor. I can see the cursor blinking, and now if I click off of the paper, the cursor goes away, and so does the, the keyboard at the bottom of the iPad. If you remember on the laptop, your formatting icon was a little paintbrush. Well, it is on, on the iPad as well, but what will throw you off, it throws me off sometimes, is if I click on it and it says nothing selected, and so it kind of confuses me, and I think, well, where are all my options? You have to make sure that the cursor is blinking. So when the cursor is blinking on the, on the page, then click the paintbrush. Now here are your formatting options. So we're setting the paper up today in MLA format, so Modern Language Association. Down the road, you may have a science professor or psychology professor ask you to use APA, which has become very common. Every now and then, you may hear um, of a professor asking for Chicago. The easiest go-to, if you're not sure, is MLA. And at Oxford High School, your English teachers use MLA format. If you're not sure, maybe you're looking at this video and you're in a history class or you're writing for a science teacher, a science report, a lab report, just ask the instructor and they can tell you which format to use. If they say, it's up to you, you choose, choose a nice clean format, MLA is always a, a good and easy choice to use. So this video is going to show you how to set your paper up using MLA. So I've clicked on the paintbrush and I have all these options. I'm going to leave paragraph style in body. It should default to body, but if it doesn't, make sure that it says body. The font, many teachers will accept Helvetica, but the best option is really Times New Roman. You can never go wrong with Times New Roman. Font, we have bolds, italics, underline. We don't need to use any of that right now. We do want to bump the size up to 12. The text color here can just stay black. Alignment, you have left, you have center, and you have right, but let's just keep it left aligned. We can leave bullets in list alone for now. Line spacing, we want to bump that up to two. So it's, that means that it's double spaced and then you can leave columns and drop cap alone. You don't need to do anything there. So we should have body times new Roman, 12 point font, black text color, left aligned and double spaced. And now we're ready to type. So the first thing that you need, you, your cursor is blinking 
and you're ready to start, you need a heading. You want your teacher to know whose amazing work this is. So the first thing you put is student name. That is where your name will go. Then you hit enter just once. So just one time. And then you will put sorry, the teacher. Oh, I need to type it correctly. Then you will put the teacher name. And this is where you put Miss Witt, um, your science teacher's name, your history teacher's name, your English teacher's name. This is where you put your teacher's name. Miss, uh, Mr., Dr., maybe instructor, professor, if they have a particular title. That, that's how I would type that here. So for my students, they would type um, Miss MRS Wit. If, if your teacher has a PhD, then doctor, and then their last name. And so then you hit enter one time, and this is where you put the class name. And so for my students, class name, theirs will look like this. For comp one, it's English 1113. If you're in comp two, it's English 1123. Yours might say English, if you wanna be really fancy and use a Roman numeral, English one or just English one. You might have pre-AP, you might have AP, AP US History, whatever the class is titled goes here. It's always nice when you're in college to also include that, that course, that number, so 1113. That lets me know as the instructor, okay, this paper belongs in the 1113 stack. Some students even like to include a section number, so I, that, I will leave that up to you. Something to just to think about later on. But we have very simply here, student name, teacher name, the class title, and then now we have a date. And so MLA asks us now, they say the proper way to write the date is day, month, year. And so it looks like this, 7 August 2020. Um, you would probably be just fine to write August 7th, comma, 2020. But the most up-to-date version of the MLA handbook does say to do it this way. So that's how I'll do it here. So then you hit enter one time and your essay title goes here. We will actually, so you're gonna move your cursor and then now you're gonna use this button here. I'll click it a few times so you can see it. This is how you change the alignment. So I put the cursor right in front of essay title and I want it actually to be centered. Instead of left aligned, I want it centered. And I'm only centering the title, so when I hit return once, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna to have to left realign. Now, on the laptop, you have a little tab key. And if you're using a keyboard with your iPad, you'll have a little tab key. If you don't, and you're just using the keyboard that's here on the screen, this little arrow here with a line, that's an indent, so you hit it one time and it indents. Okay, I'll show you that again. You hit it one time and it indents. And so we're going to oops, amazing essay here. This is where we'll, we will start our essay. And we will keep writing, you can Always use this if you get to a new paragraph you need to indent. And that is how you do a basic MLA setup.